Hello. Google Cloud Load Balancing enables you to scale your applications from zero to full throttle with no pre-warming needed. You can distribute your load balanced compute resources in a single or multiple regions close to your users and meet your high availability requirements. Cloud Load Balancing puts your resources behind a single Anycast IP and allows you to scale your resources up and down with intelligent auto-scaling. Cloud Load Balancing can support HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, and UDP. We are excited to introduce a new load balancing UI that enables you to configure any of these flavors of load balancing intuitively and easily through a single interface. With the new UI, you simply pick the protocol, configure the related parameters, and you're done. In order to create a new HTTP load balancer, click Create Load Balancer. Now click Start Configuration in the HTTP HTTPS Load Balancing section. Fill in the name of your load balancer. You can use lowercase letters, numbers, and hyphens. Click Backend Configuration to configure where your incoming traffic will be redirected. From the drop-down menu, you can select an existing backend service or you can create a new backend service. Now enter the name for your backend service. From the backend section, select an instance group. Finally, select a health check from the drop-down at the bottom. Your backends are now configured. The next step is to determine how your traffic will be directed. Click Host and Path Rules from the left panel. The first row determines where any traffic not explicitly with a host and path rule will be sent. Click Add Host and Path Rule to add a second row. Now fill it in. The third step is configuring your front end. Click Front End Configuration to configure the protocol, IP address, port, and certificate if necessary. Once that is done, you can click Review and Finalize to review your configuration. Finally, click the Create button to create your load balancer. When the new load balancer is created, you can click its row to expand it and see its details. If you want to modify its configuration, click the Edit button. You can go through the same steps you went through during load balancer creation. Backend configuration, host and path rules, and frontend configuration. Finally, click the Update button if you want to apply your changes or click Cancel to discard your changes. In order to create a new TCP load balancer, click Create Load Balancer. Now click the Start Configuration button in the TCP Load Balancing section. Fill in the name of your load balancer. You can use lowercase letters, numbers, and hyphens. Now click Backend Configuration to configure where your incoming traffic will be redirected. Select the region where your instance group is located. Select an instance group you want to use. Select a health check from the drop-down menu. Click Front End Configuration to configure the IP address and port. Click Add Front End IP and Port and enter a port number. Now you can click Review and Finalize to review your configuration. Finally, click the Create button to create your TCP load balancer. When the new load balancer is created, you can click its row to expand it and see its details. You can use the Edit button to modify the configuration. You can similarly configure a UDP load balancer as well. To view all your load balancers, go to Networking and click on Load Balancing. Once you have configured your load balancers, you can view them and also view their details as well. We invite you to give the new load balancing UI a spin at cloud.google.com.